Hey guys, what's up? So, oh, never mind. Silly. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? We have the lineup of if you knew what to get. I mean, I was confused, obviously. I've only been into this for like six months, right? So, we got the Easy Max, Easy Pilot Pro. Yes. You know what? Honestly, it's almost as good or just as good as uh, the VR1 by Beta FPV Goggle. Like, this has higher resolution, but this has better colors. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but honestly, like, um, I guess I'm farsighted or something, right? So I can't see stuff close up, right? Um, because I'm getting old, you know, I used to have perfect vision, but apparently I'm going to need a pair of reading glasses when I'm older. Um, well, now, this one, it it's pretty good. The colors aren't as cracking, like I said, on this one. I don't know why. Um, and just looking at it, uh, other than the blurry, I, I, I just fly into shit all the time. You know, little things pop in and out. I can't, the resolution's so low. Uh, these are like... 50 to 80 dollars depending on where you get them and there's a lot of new drone kits that come out that just throw these just rebranded different color same exact headset um so if you're new like like i said i spent so the thing i'm trying to get at here is you probably start to budget you're like okay i need a whole setup so i need to budget my money so i can just get out there and do what i want to do um just between the three goggles and the drone uh, so we got 60, we got like 250, uh, that's with the drone and everything in the kit here. And then, uh, the, the scout was, uh, 200 plus tax, right? Um, unless you buy it from, uh, uh, Roto Riot, which if it's the first time you've ever bought something from Roto Riot, they give you like 10% off. So you get this thing 200 bucks out the door after tax and shipping and everything. Pretty great. Um, so yeah, shout out Roto Riot. <laughs> they didn't pay me for anything. Honestly, I want to do a video about buying stuff from Roto Riot because yeah. Anyways, uh, subscribe. Back to the headsets. So this I don't even know what the resolution on this one was. It's absolute garbage. Like I said, the only thing that makes this almost worth seeing is the colors compared to the VR. So, um, so after all that being said, um, fuck. The Fat Shark Scouts obviously are the winner. I mean, that I can see things in there perfectly. I don't have to wear glasses, nothing like that. Everyone says about the head shape stuff about the scout um, not fitting their heads. I have a small head. Like, yeah. I mean, not like abnormally small, just like, you know, small head, you know, narrow right here, you know. Um, I guess I do have kind of high cheekbones, not like abnormally high, just, you know, and it fits great. Um, I really like it. The foam pad I put in kind of hits my nose and pushes on it, but not like crazy. You know, I got a, I got a noggin on me, you know, a little nose. Um, but it's not like uncomfortable. It just kind of pushes on, it, you know? So yeah, not to the point to where it's uncomfortable at all. I just noticed it, but when I'm blind, I don't even notice. I put it on, boom, I'm ready to go. And that, I mean, honestly, with a little squish right there, you know, it's blocking, uh, the light. <laughs> um, for, uh. I think it was four bucks on Amazon. You can buy these quarter inch foam pads. You get a crap ton of them. They're stick on and um, you just cut them to whatever shape you want. And you can put it behind the padding. If you do have a problem like on the sides or something. Uh, so I have these and then like, you know, for another three bucks, you just get a uh, Velcro. Oh shit. That you throw around little Velcro sticks that stick on, cut those to whatever shape you want. Stick it on one side of this and the other side of it. And then, you know, then you'll have removable whatever shape you decide to do. Oh, my God. Ugh. Error. Cut. Retake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, the ch cheapest set, man. See, I wish I could have gone back and done it over again. Because I would have just skipped the drone and all that. That's $300 right there. Between this and this set. 300 bucks so yeah it's fat sharks 200 and then i would have got the uh beta fpv 
um what was it the uh they have a 65 and a 75 pro probably would have got the 75 pro because i like flying in my backyard more and then so that would have been 300 bucks and then like the jumper t light v2 little hand controller for like 60 70 bucks so that would have been 360 so 250 right no this was 250 300 versus 60 dollars more i could have had a way better setup and avoided like this is fucking almost unusable, almost unusable. Like you, you can fly with it, but blah, this one, just a step up above that. Just barely like fucking e-waste almost like these two headsets, practically almost e-waste, you know, you could fly with them, but they're going to hinder your flight. Cause you're going to be flying into stuff like. Like, even if you have perfect vision, this is exactly what I'm trying to say. Even if you have perfect vision, 20-20, you stick them in your head, you see all the pixels, clear as a bell, the, the render on them just is so, the 800 by 400, I think you understand the scan lines, you know? Like, you try looking at your phone in 480p, right? And you look off into the distance, what do you see? You see a blur. Any little branch, stick, whatever. Like, I have this little setup square thing I've painted red. I can't see it unless I'm like 10 feet from it in my headset with my drone. So, and then when you're flying around doing like 25, 30 miles an hour, like that 10 feet is just like, bam, I hit it. So I had more crashes with these just because I couldn't see stuff. So like you could get these and start flying, but you know, you're going to have to be extra careful because you just can't see that kind of stuff just popping up on you. Versus these, like this was 800 by 480. This is like 11 something by six something. So, you know, you get 300 more scan lines on each side. Wide screen. The colors are beautiful. I can see, I can see that little square thing from like 30, 40 feet away in these head, in this headset, which is just, you know, so I can just cruise right into it, provided I can drive. Because the drone on here too, by the way, if you're thinking about getting the Easy Pilot Pro drone, just because it's cheap and you're ready to go and you're ready to fly, it, it drives like a fucking truck, like 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 a Mack truck, you know? You like put on the brakes, vroom, get it going in the air. <laughs> it's like swerving, you know, you gotta correct it. It's heavy. It just feels like you're fucking flying like a like a bird hawk eagle that's this like got a fish in its mouth or something. Feels like you're driving something that's got like a 10 pound camera strap to it. You know, the thing's like, rah, rah. you could trick it. I mean, I'm probably putting some video up now of me flying it around, recording it from the fat shark goggles, um, just doing flips and crashing it constantly. You could beat the hell out of the drone. So, I mean, I'm not harshing on the drone. Great for learning, you know, I'm learning on it. <laughs> Just beating the living crap out of it. The VTX on it's probably ruined by now because I've ripped it off so many times out in the yard that that's why this is actually missing all the antennas. Is because I've I've taken apart the antennas to strap on to the drone, which works. But I'm pretty sure heating it up and cooling it down and it having ripped off two times, three times, um, uh, has ruined the VTX. So it's got extra lines on it or whatever. <clears throat> So this is definitely a no-go if you're new. I mean, if you have to, there you go. Um, but like I said, I would, I would definitely get the Fat Sharks. They're, they're beautiful. They're going to last you a long time. Like I've been using, I've only used them for like two weeks now. <sighs> Love them. Love them so much. Um, especially compared to these it's like night and day like like this is like midnight in the woods this is like walking down the stream in like 10 a.m with the sun's rising you know it's completely different <laughs> and then as everyone uh there's a question people have about vr and like the headsets if it's like vr um i love vr absolutely love vr like I use this, hook it to my computer, and then I can crank up the graphics. And then this has 120, I believe it's 120 or it's 130 FOV, you know, and that's side to side. I forget what it is up and down, but it's crazy. Um, this 
is completely different than goggles or the little, you know, I've tried my friend's ones, the little squares, completely different. This is like looking at your monitor, but it's tiny and everything looks small. It's like just looking at a tiny little TV, Does not even close to this. This is completely different because this gets like two different eyes from two different angles. You'd have to have like two different cameras on your quad. So like this and this completely different. This is TV. This is VR. <laughs> <clears throat> it's still immersive. It's still immersive, but like I said, everything seems miniaturized, you know, especially when you're far away, the trees are all tiny and everything's tiny. It's not like you're right up there on it until you're like right up there on it. Um, it's not like reality, I guess, you know, I wish the people who make VR would definitely merge over to the FPV sector and help out with that. That would be amazing. <clears throat> but this is what we got for now. So, you know, like, and another thing I like about this, um, cause I'm a big VR addict, you know, cause like I can get in there, I can drive a plane. I don't know what these guys are talking about. You know, these pro racers. Oh, you just need a tiny little field of view. So you can just fly through the little hoop. Cause it's too distracting. It's too, you can move all those little things that they're talking about. I don't need to look over here. You can literally move those under your eyeballs, you know, jump on beta FPV, move that. There you go. Then you have the big immersive screen, but it's distracting. It's like. Okay, this is what I'm saying. They're not gamers. All these old people, they're not gamers like us. You know, like I, I play VR. I'm in aircraft. I'm shooting people. I'm racing. I'm doing all that. You do that shit in reality all day long. You look up and down at your drive thing. Well, I don't know what they're talking about. Don't know what they're talking about. Oh my God, I can go off on a rant about that. It's like, they're not gamers. They don't know. <laughs> so 50 FOV on this bad boy. Like I want to get something else, but it's like, I'm going to have to get a smaller screen. Like, even the top-notch goggles, tiny little baby screen. It's like, I feel like I'm going to be in a hallway. You know, this already feels like a hallway. 50 FOV 120, <laughs> you know. And that one's like VR surround. This, If you made this one bigger, it's just a big flat screen, you know. <clears throat> I don't think you could get a bigger FOV than that and like a flat screen style. You know, you would have to do like a VR-shaped one with a tiny little, what well, you would. <clears throat> but even those, um, like, they cost $600. Those cost twice as much as a... This is what I really don't get. I think now they're $400, right? And if you hook it to your computer, then you get, like, 2K resolution or 3K or some weird shit like that. Um, but $400. And then, um, like, the new small headsets, they they $600? And they don't even come with a receiver. And like I said, the screens in this are like a thousand times better than anything they put in those. It's a, it's a scam, man. It's a scam. Um, but I do it because I love it. So what I would say, definitely get the Fat Sharks. Definitely don't settle. Um, get the Fat Shark Scouts with the 1100 and something, whatever. The colors are cracking. It's got great range. It uses an 18650 that lasts a long time. Uh, it records DVR. It does everything. This one doesn't record DVR. <laughs> and it looks good. And you won't crash into shit constantly because you can't see it. You know, you can fly through branches and stuff. Um, it's great. And then just get a cheap-ass drone to get you flying. You, get you, you can buy the little tape-on drones. You know, you get the little $10 camera, the little $30 drone just to get you practicing and wait till next payday. And then boom, get yourself something cool. You know, and I'm getting the Jumper T Lite because I like the controller style. Um, yeah, like the controller that comes in here is great and it's small. So I love it. So I thumb the hell out of it. I don't know. Everybody's talking about thumbing and pension. <sighs> man, I'm a thumber for sure. Everyone's like, thumbs are dumb. It's like, man, let's go Fortnite right now. Xbox, baby, let's go. <laughs> you know, show you thumbs are dumb. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, and keep it real. You know, like just because everyone says it's good doesn't mean it's right for you. You know, like thumb and pension. What feels good for you? It's like, do you, do you play video games? Do you like using a controller? Get the controller kind. You're already good at that. You know, don't start trying something new. I mean, you can if you want, if you think that's going to be more precise or whatever. But I turn my rates up. Like all the beginners, like keep your rates where you're moving the sticks all the way when you're doing stuff. Nah, son. I like my sticks tight, man. Just like, you know, when I do something little, bam, 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 you know? I mean, not super tight. 
So I've been messing with rates like that. I really hate when I'm moving big movements. It's like, no, I like it precise. Thumbs are dumb. My butt, like, I play video games, man. It's like, go from a Nintendo Switch all of a sudden to a drone. You're like, man, this thing's got some movement, you know? <laughs> Aiming a bow with like Zelda, you know, and then you're like, uh, anything else I could say before I just keep ranting? Um, I love this hobby, so much fun. I love cruising, man. This little tiny hawk hauls ass. I've seen guys like it's kind of slow. This is the fastest, man. I get this thing going so fast. I'm just like, damn. <laughs> it's a good drone, you know. Like it just handles like a boat in the air. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. even when I turn it up touchy, you know, I guess that helps raising my rates. It does help. Um, right now, I think I got them set too low again, you know? So, I don't know. So, I'm still messing with that. I have a new drone coming. Hopefully, it's way better. Um, and, uh, and then I will do another review on this separately because of everyone's worried about the camera in it because this is 16 by 9, uh, which I love. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so, um I have a drone coming that has a four by three camera on it. Uh, this drone, I believe is 16 by nine. It looks great um, on this headset. Uh, but the new drone I have is easy. It's got a swappable camera, so I can do 16 and four by three. So then I can actually tell you how this looks because I looked on Reddit and um, I don't know. It was just kind of, I never really got like a good answer, so. You know, and I'll rant about the answer. So that way, you know, any little minute detail you wanted to know about the four by three, whatever, make sure you subscribe so you can watch that. Uh, I think that's it. I think that is it. So I would go, um, if you're going super budget, get like, um, if you don't want a controller style and you want a box style, I think the controller that's in here. is pretty cheap. It's got the lanyard, it's got the little hooks. It's a good control, I love it. It runs on D8, D16, so it'll do both protocols. I know everyone's going to ELRS, um, so that's another reason why I'm getting the Jumper T Lite. I'm getting the four version, so I can use it with my old drones, and then uh, you can put the external pack on it, which is like 40 bucks, I think. Super cheap for like a good one, you know, so, so that's good. That's one thing I like about ELRS is the prices aren't crazy, you know, it's not buying a whole new remote. You're just buying a little module, you know, you can get some for like 25 bucks. So depending on what you need, I guess, you know, because like ELRS is supposed to be really good. So I don't need to go like one gig or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you can find a cheap box controller if you need something like that. I'm going to go with the T-Lite version two. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the end of the video. You've probably been watching 10 minutes of me crashing. Um, but yeah, I have some good runs. <laughs> I think that is the rant. What else? Um, don't buy these. These are so bad. Like, like I said, you're gonna do more crashing because you can't see shit. Even if, like, my wife is, um, what is it? So I'm far-sighted, she's nearsighted, so she can take her glasses off and use these because it's up close so she can see it. Um, and uh, just the resolution, the resolution, man. Like I said, this, like the minute details of just not being able to see the little things. Those little things matter. <laughs> they matter a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to do a video about ordering from uh, uh, Rotor Riot. If you're interested in that, um, please hit a like. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.